So let's do a demo of Postaga. So Postaga is an all-in-one outreach tool that helps you to research outreach opportunities, to find contact information for people at the websites that you want to reach, and then uh, reach out to them with uh, customized uh, email sequences. So let's dive right in. So first I'm going to click New Campaign. And now I'm at this campaign screen where I have a bunch of options to choose from. So kind of quickly going through them. The first option we have is a mention campaign. Uh, mention campaign, what it does is it finds all the outbound links in your blog post. And then from there, you can read, uh, find their contact information and then reach out to them. Uh, there are kind of different strategies that you can implement with this, kind of depending on what you want your ask to be. So you could reach out to people and say, hey, just want to give you a heads up. I really liked your blog post and, or your website, and I mentioned it in my article. And it would be great if you could link back to us, or uh, it would be great if you could share our post, or I'm curious if you are accepting guest post opportunities. It would be great if we could work together, you know, depending on whatever uh, ask you want to have. With that outreach, you can make it, make it your own. Uh, aside from that, there is resources outreach, and resources outreach uh, is also known as resources page outreach. Uh, basically, you have a blog post, and you see other websites that have resource pages that where they share their favorite resources on a given topic or industry, and we reach out to them and say, "Hey, it'd be great. It, we have a great piece of content that is on the topic that you." Have your resources page on can you add us to your resources it would be great for your audience after that there is tools outreach tools outreach lets you uh, basically do a similar outreach like resources resources outreach but specifically for uh, apps and tools so uh, basically if there's a website that does uh, list their favorite crm tools you can and you have a crm app or service, uh, you can reach out to that website and say, hey, uh, you should add our CRM to your tools page on CRMs. After that, we have review outreach. Uh, this basically helps us reach out to other websites that have reviewed your competitors and ask them to review your service product uh, as well. And so how it works is we find uh, your competitors and see where they've been reviewed online and then reach out to those websites to get them to uh, review your service or product as well. Offering expertise. So here we find other websites that feature expert roundups uh, and we can uh, pitch them that you are an expert and offer your expertise to one of their uh, new pieces of content as well. Uh, link Roundup Outreach. Uh, basically, it's finding websites that publish regularly and currently uh, link roundups on a given topic or industry and get them to include your blog post or piece of content in their next roundup. And then Beyond that, we also have custom campaigns that you can run. So you can paste in custom URLs in the custom URL campaign, and then from there, find contact information for people at all of those URLs, and then build email campaigns for them. I use this personally for skyscraper outreach. So for example, I might use Ubersuggest or Ahrefs or SEMrush to find uh, uh, backlink profiles for blog post that I want to uh, skyscraper, uh, then I'll insert the URLs here and then reach out to those websites. And then if we want more, we also have a custom search functionality. If you want to build your own campaign, you can enter in your own search term and then Postaga will search for and find a find relevant web pages and blog posts on your search term, then you can add them to your outreach list and then Postaga will find contact information for people at those websites. So next, I just wanna start with a mention campaign. Um, I need a piece of content for that and I'm just gonna enter in my blog post URL here and then Postaga will get all of my outbound links. So the first thing that happens is Postaga will analyze my blog post 
for key information, then I can later use this as merge fields in my emails. So if I want to have in my emails specific information related to my post and mention that, I can use that to further customize and personalize my emails. So um, we pulled the post title, post website information, uh, and Postdoc does its best guess at what the keyword is. I'm gonna do email outreach, change that. So that's our search keyword, my author name, and we can also create our own merge fields if we want, if we wanna have additional merge fields beyond what's already in Postdoga. Um, I'm going to have a brief summary of my post to add. Uh, this post is about email outreach. Awesome, and I'll have this information in case I can use it in my actual uh, outreach posts. Now, Postaga has found all of the outbound links in my blog post, and then we can reach out to these people. Um, when we can, we will find the contact information, oh, the names actually of the people we want to reach out to, the authors of. When Postaga can, it will find author names for people at the websites specifically who wrote the posts that we're referencing. So I have an authority hacker post, I found the author here. Uh, and if I want to, if like I don't, for example, have an author and Postdoga can't find one, I can do additional research uh, in Postdoga. And so Postdoga gives me links to the this website's uh, blog post, to the LinkedIn page, the about, blog and their contact page. And so I can go to these to try and find an author if I wanna get that added. Otherwise, uh, that'll be empty and we'll just find whatever contact we can at these websites. But we're gonna reach out to all these people, HubSpot, Moz, Mailshake, Lemlist, why not? They'll reach it. They'll uh, definitely backlink to us. So let's get our contacts. So next what's gonna happen is Postaga will try and find and verify email addresses for all these websites. You'll see that a bunch of emails just disappeared. So Postaga has an integration built in with hunter.io to find contact information for people at these websites that we wanna connect with. And then once we pull them, uh, Postaga can see how reliable is that email address. And if it has a low confidence rating, meaning that it's likely that it's going to bounce that email, that's not good for us. So Postaga then runs a validator and tries to validate that email and see if it's a legit email address. And if it's not, it'll remove it and then try and find another one. Uh, one nifty feature is if you've used an email address in a previous campaign, Postaga will let you know, this way you're not stepping on your own toes, reaching out to people multiple times. And it turns out I actually ran this exact campaign once before, so I can choose not to email certain people. But here we go, Postaga has found contact information, first name, last name, company name, uh, and email address for this person at this website, and that's Sujan Patel. Um, Beyond that, we you'll see we have a bunch of contacts. Awesome. And next, after that, we're going to build our email campaign. And we can send an email sequence. We can choose from the sequences we've created. I'm gonna go with this one. And as you'll see, I have the sequence laid out with different emails. Email one sends. And then we wait three days, then email two sends, then we wait three days, then email three sends. And you can set whatever inter intervals you want. You can make it so you have a sequence of 10 emails, why not? Uh, and, and wait times of 10 days between them. And I'll show you later, we can also set it so that if we get a reply to any of our emails, we won't send a follow-up email. So that, you know, obviously they've replied, we got what we're looking for. We don't wanna keep bombarding them with emails. And also we can set a rule so that emails only send on weekdays if we want and not to send them you know, emails over the weekend. So next let's go to the email preview pane. And so as we'll see here, we have the merge fields set so that everything in this email is personalized and we can even personalize it even further. And so we can see what the emails to each person and the follow-up emails are going to look like. Awesome. And so if I wanna even more further personalize it, I can go into a specific email 
And as you'll see, the merge fields related to the content have been added. I mention in the subject line their blog post. I mention them by name and me and what I'm doing, uh, I'm linking to. Uh, but as you'll see kind of here on this sidebar is snippets. Now, I know that sometimes when you're doing outreach, you want to reference the website that you're reaching out to and say, you know, I really appreciated this advice that you gave. Uh, well, instead of having to go to that person's website and find a piece of content and copy and paste it in, we have it all here in this snippets section. So I can just copy it and paste it and further personalize this email. And I can overwrite the template email by and have a unique email specific to this person that you know follows its own rules. I liked this part as an example. And then I can overwrite that. And as we'll see here, we have a unique email that's saved in our system. And this person has their own email for that one. And I can go down the list and do that for everyone if I want, or I can just do that for select contacts that I want to do that for. And that's basically how uh, the email sequences and email personalization and customization work. Now, we can also add our own uh, additional merge fields if we want and set them up in our email templates. It's completely customizable and up to you how you want to do it. Next is our rules and scheduling section. So you can schedule the emails to go out whenever you want, or you can have them go out right away. You can set a testing mode so that all the emails will go to whatever email address you say. You can set whether the emails will send on weekends and if the emails will stop or keep going even after someone has replied to your emails. And then after that we schedule and that's it. Now, I know you might be wanting to know what it's like for a like resources campaign, for example, and know what the search process is like. So I'm just going to show you that real quick. Um, so how it works is once we get to this section, we get to search for whatever keywords we want and then find resource posts. And depending on what kind of campaign you have, whether it's resources or tools or reviews, you'll run, you'll run, go through this step where we are doing research with Postdoga and search in the web for related content around our topic. And so I wanna do uh, email uh, outreach resources. So then I click find results. And over here in this section, you'll see Postaga will try and give us suggestions, but I'm just put an email outreach and now we see, I got these suggestions, great. Oh, this looks awesome. I can add as many resource posts that I want. And then once I'm happy, I'll analyze these links. And then like before with the mention campaign, we'll find contact, contact information for those people and then do the outreach. And that's been a kind of a quick demo of Postaga. You can grab a free account if you want to try it out or use it forever um, at postaga.com. It's completely free to use um, and check it out. Let us know what you think. We're doing our best to add as many new features as we can constantly. So the more feedback you can provide us, the better and the more likely it is we can get the features added that you were looking for. So check it out and let us know what you think.